fresco here, so this is an extra layer. The number of emergency response personnel working at the State Operations Center has dramatically increased in the last two days. So has the pace of activity. Incident management teams from the Federal Emergency Management Agency have set up operations at Cal OES in a unified effort. You don't want to be caught flat-footed. California is very much oriented about public safety and, and making sure we are as prepared as possible. We are locked at the hip. Tim Scranton, the federal coordinating officer with FEMA, says their focus is maintaining situational awareness and supporting the state. One of the key factors I need everybody to understand is we don't come in and take over, we come in and support. So whatever logistical supplies that the state needs, any type of organization, organizational structure, personnel, what have you, we are here to support and, and supply that. Water in the Oroville Reservoir was rapidly rising eventually coming over the emergency spillway, causing severe erosion and concern for the state and dam operators. We were monitoring the, the storms and the situation in Oroville as it was developing. And then Sunday when we uh, learned that there was a potential issue with the dam itself, we started deploying assets. The Department of Water Resources is also here, setting up a resource center, giving quick access to accurate, reliable information and subject matter experts. A contingent of emergency managers, led by Cal OES Director Mark Gillarducci, Cal Fire Director Ken Pemlot, and Cal Guard Major General David Baldwin, met with local officials in Oroville on Wednesday. We received some really great briefings, uh, assurances between us and the, and the county of Butte that uh, we were one team, one fight, uh, and the, that the sheriff and, and, and the DWR uh, folks that were there had everything that they needed, and then to reaffirm what the plan was moving forward. This is the very latest video from today. Work continues. 95 contractors labor by air and land, dropping rock and concrete into the gaps to fill the voids caused by water escaping the controlled spillway. Drier weather has allowed DWR to reduce water releases from 100,000 cubic feet per second. Beginning at 9 a.m. today, they dropped rates by 5,000 cubic feet every two hours. They'll hold once they hit 80,000 cubic feet per second. That decision considers the heavy rain that's expected to drop over the next several days. Cal OES, FEMA, and the Unified Coordinating Group continue to closely watch developments at Oroville Dam and support DWR. They're also working to prepare contingency plans for those impending storms statewide. That's pre-positioning resources, making sure that we have the right equipment and the right people and the right items in the right place so that we can minimize the time frame it takes to get them in place once we need them. For more up-to-date information, be sure to go to oesnews.com and click on the Oroville Spillway Emergency Banner for access to our Oroville Spillway Incident Resource page. For Cal OES News In-Depth, I'm Sean Boyd.